focus on Kate. See, one of the things that he said, he goes, well, I feel I'm late. You know, there's many reasons why you could be late. Yeah. Uh, you know, footwork, whatever. So I don't want to get into the footwork because obviously if you're not in position, if Federer's not in position, it don't matter how he does a stroke. Yeah. Okay? But what I need to address is kind of what I see, and these are what I call the big ticket items. I'm going to start with your forehand first. Ready position. See, the first thing that jumps out at me that's going to be more problematic than anything is when he takes the racket back. I like the fact that he has kind of a short stroke, and I like the fact that you keep it on this side of your body. So there's some positive. But Eric hardly ever turns his shoulders far enough. And as a result, he's going to open up too quickly. People might tell you this. You're going to open up too quickly. His head's going to move, and his shoulder's going to move way too soon. So when the ball comes, go ahead and turn. When he turns, go ahead and put your foot out. That foot. Okay. Now, this has to be like that. This guy never, because I gave him like 12 balls, he never turns. He always, he's always facing the net. He's like this, look. See this? Now, what happens is you lose a lot of power. He's going to lose a lot of control. You're not going to feel what we call connected. See, the upper body has to turn like this. Super airy goes like this. You see how, now what happens is, can you hit it? Yeah. Does it work? Yeah. Will it improve? Not as much. Because there's no coiling coming back like slingshot. Look at me. Rick, Eric. See the difference? So I'm going to get more power from that, and I'm going to get more control because I'm using the whole body as a unit where he's just using arms. Now, when people tell you more top spin, all this stuff, it doesn't really matter because what I'm doing, I'm going down the assembly line. I'm looking at his game, and I'm going to tell you what are the main things that need to be addressed first. And one of the basic things is when the ball comes, you have to be turned sideways. Super Harry goes like this. I got to hit it. <laughs> so he's just like that playing the game. But he has good hands. He has good hands. But his stroke looks like he's playing ping pong. And I know he plays a lot of ping pong. I already know this guy. He probably just goes like that. So this is going to be a little different. So when he turns, go ahead and step out with your back foot. Step, put your foot up. Whether he does open stance or closed stance, go ahead and turn. That has to be there. Now he feels like, oh, this hurts my neck. Or I can't see the ball. He needs to turn his shoulders. Okay, put your foot back a little bit. That way. Good. So he needs to turn his shoulders every time farther than his hips. Watch. Say I do open stance, watch. See how my upper body is farther than my lower? Super Eric goes like this. That's where he's at. So he just play with the arms. Super Rick. So the first thing I gotta address is, show me. How many times you do that? That means never, I know kids, trust me. That means never, no, do it again. So every time, that's all I want him to do. That's the first thing. You can like, yeah, once you do this, you can let go. I just, but I want the left, I, I was good, good. I want his hand on the racket to here, and then he can let go. Notice when I keep my hand on to here, what it does to this. See, when I let go early, I might not turn the shoulder. But if I keep my hand on, I get it for free. And I need him to turn. This is the first thing. This is like a basic thing, but it's a stroke killer, or he's just gonna be using his arm. You gotta hit with your body. Oh.